You see? 27 minutes. It must have been 27 minutes. It stopped again. Luckily, I heard the beep. Um, what was this? I love this desk, yeah. Um, but it's very, very, very uncomfortable to work at because you cannot get your legs under properly. Um, and because I've been doing a lot of this kind of stuff while I've been ill and I've been doing the kit, so I've been using my laptop and Photoshop. Um, I'm leaning forward a lot and it's getting quite uncomfortable and quite painful. So I love this desk but I'm not sure whether I need to change it but the like I said the house is a little house and I've used the wrong side of the muslin I've used the white side but the ink still comes through so that's okay um yeah I'm not sure I'm not sure whether to have my dad my dad built the shelves up here for me I've got spice racks on the wall it would be nice to have a little screen or a curtain to shield off this area because this is like the messiest part of the room not messy as in it's sometimes it's untidy as you probably oh I've stuck it upside down <laughs> um, yeah sometimes it's untidy but I just kind of you know this is my workspace and I've got all my journals and my bits and pieces I've got jars of buttons and various things lots of I've got spice racks everywhere well I've got three three spice racks little shelf in front of me um, so I'm not sure whether to get my dad to build me a nice big work surfacing kind of desk which will make the dining room look a bit pants or whether to keep my nice wooden leather one well it's not wooden leather it's I think it's a fake leather top no I think it might be real leather I don't know um, I was given this so I think that's quite nice what I do want to do find the little box. Sorry, I have to pull my chair out. See, this is another problem. I have to pull the chair about six foot away from the desk every time I want to open a drawer. Um, but then if I have a work surfacey kind of desk built, I'm not going to have a... Shall I go gold or bronze? I think I'm going to go bronze. I'm just going to have to start peeling. I've, somewhere I've got a load of these all kind of about half an inch and an inch much much smaller I really should use those up really I'm going to go this is quite an opulent kind of I think kit and file folder so I want some kind of gold trim bronze you know how I like a bit of oil pastel and I'm going to go round here as well so this is going to be quite a long video. We've done two tags. Maybe we should stop at two tags today. Maybe I should make some tags and just show you some of the tags and maybe one more video of us making a couple of tags. Now I do feel like I haven't stopped talking today because I haven't really talked to anybody much recently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the edge where we're going to sew but like I said I'm really sorry we can't sew today because it's Sunday well I say it's Sunday lunch day um, it is kind of Sunday lunch day and we are having a big lunch but it's we're having well we're having veggie sausages and mash and vegetables and the kids love Yorkshire puddings so we're having that that's that's quite nice and that suits me because I don't have to cook um, a chicken or anything ah pants oh there we go there we go up there yeah how much will that affect the tag it won't that's okay we'll do that now do we want to back that we want to mount that. Of course we do. We always want to mount things, don't we? <laughs> we 
you always want to mount our images onto something else. That's good. <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh dear. Okay. Um, it's gonna go. Now that might be too big if it is double mounted. What do you reckon? Maybe if we have it a little bit higher up, that'd be good. So, um, what else can I, what is there that I can tell you? Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't even know if I've finished um, half the conversations that I've started with you. If there's anything you want to know please do ask um, maybe I don't know whether I can do this really I don't know if I could but maybe I should do a live what do you think um, I was watching oh I this is the other thing I did want to say um, I've watched I don't know how many videos I've really caught up on my YouTube I've binge watched I have um, I've just literally watched tons and tons of YouTube while I've been sick, which has been amazing because I was so far behind and I still am. Um, so what I do want to say is, um, if I was laying on the sofa watching, the laptop on my Mac was on the coffee table and it was just literally playing whatever was in the list next. So... Um, if I am subscribed to you, I can guarantee I have watched your videos and I can guarantee they, they have been awesome. Um, but I may not have commented because I couldn't reach and I couldn't get up and reach. Or if I was crafting and I was covered in glue, chances are I didn't comment because I was not close enough. Now, we need to put something on the back of this one because I've got this really old... It says Jet Setter Jotter. It's vintage, it's old. Um, it's got that really kind of thin paper and it's got an aeroplane on it. So I think this might be suitable for, what's it called? Airmail. But it's not tea stains or anything like that. I did try to tea, tea stain some and all that happened was instantly the paper fell apart and I think this may have been the paper that all the lines disappeared off. So, you know, there was no lines left. So thank you to everybody who I have watched <laughs> over the last couple of weeks because you've kept me occupied, you've kept me sane, you've kept me interested in crafting and creating artwork and you have just been amazing for inspiration all of you people out there um, there was a few people that I'd never seen before and binge watched um, I wish I could remember everybody's names um, I'm going to be doing some I, I was planning on doing this already but I haven't done it yet some um, tags which um, I've saved the video so I can tell you exactly who to go and watch but they are just awesome um, maybe we could do one with although then it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't include an image that's the thing it's a um, I forgot what they're called now it's not a cluster tag that's Jessica Rapp who is amazing she makes these tags um, that are huge and they're just held together with one paper clip that's talented, that's proper talent. If you can just use one paper clip, me, I'd, everything would fall out the sides. I'd, I wouldn't get it in the right place, I wouldn't layer it correctly. Um, I'd have to glue it everywhere. <laughs> As you can tell, like I said, I've used a whole glue over the, since the last video I did. Which, you know, was, was a long time ago for me, but not, not a really long time ago, generally. And I've I've used a whole glue. I think that just finishes that off a little bit, doesn't it?
I like it. I like it a lot. So, um, we've done two tags. <laughs> How rubbish am I? Um, I've got, look, I've got so many different types of tags all cut out and ready and I've got some book pages and I've got so much stuff and we've spent all of this time making two tags. Um, thank you. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Thank you for still watching. Um, I just, you're just all amazing. You just blow me away. And like I said, it's just, um, it's just crazy that so many people watch. I have no idea why when it's taken me, I don't know now, how long? I have no idea to make two tags. Um, but uh, there we go. Um, what I might do is stop recording, have a bit of a coffee break, and then I might start recording but not upload the next one today. I will see. Um, I am, I'm a bit tired. Um, that sounds really lightweight of me, doesn't it? But, um, yeah, thanks again, and we will make more. I will speak to you soon.